Hey, you guys, Krim Jackson, you are live on the set, and I'm going to take you around the world with me. Live my dream as a minimal CEO. Turning my clients' dreams into reality is what I do. Showing that success is truly, truly for everyone. Hey, you guys, I've got new shows we do. Stay tuned and live your best life. Testing one, two, three. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? How do I sound out there? People, let me know. Oh what my God. Okay. First of all, you guys, what this I decided to get on here today to have this little conversation in the what middle of the week again because um, this has got to be what the most ridiculous crap I've ever seen. What Trump, by the way, you guys, no matter what he says, he is not well. There is no way in hell. And maybe he does feel pretty good, but of course, he's been pumped up with so many drugs and everything that it is freaking no way in hell that he even knows how he feels. It'll hit him pretty soon. So anyway, you guys, tune in live. We want to talk about it. I got some video from one of my homies um, back home in the States. They got a leaked video where it's behind the scenes of Trump doing the same thing. Um, behind the scenes when he did that little video commercial escapade crap he did. I want to show you how he's gasping for air. He doesn't feel good. He's, 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 he's struggling. I don't think that he's going to die. I don't think that he's that sick. But I just want you to know he ain't well. So don't you believe the hype. Don't you go out there not wearing your mask. Don't you believe that you can overcome it because you're over 70 and you've got great physical conditions and he did it. He is not the right messenger for this, okay? So at the end of the day, you guys understand, I am going to show you this video from some homies of mine that sent me this. They had it on their show, but I want to make sure that you guys here in the Philippines, you guys saw it. So just understand that. I don't like that he's telling you guys this stuff. He's not telling you the truth. It is ridiculous. So you guys understand this. I hope that you're all doing well and everything. hope that you're all doing good out there. Share this. Like this. Go ahead, you guys. Send to your friends. I'm going to show you this clip. It is so crazy. And we're going to be in, in just about two minutes, you guys. Two and a half minutes. I'll see you guys for the show live. Share it. Like it. Send it around.
The Lincoln Project is responsible for the content of this advertising. What's up, you guys? You guys are live on the set. I want you guys to see what the hell I wear when I go out, you guys. If you guys can see me, I wear the face shield. I wear the face mask, all this great stuff when I go out of the house. So does my team. So does my staff. So do my partners. Everyone does here. We are in Asia, you guys, live on the set. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me out there? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Through all this crap, can you hear me? This is what we wear. This is what you should wear. Protect yourself when you're out. When you come home, take off your clothes, disinfect all your crap, disinfect everything. Alcohol is your friend. Soap and water is your friend. Do it all, you guys. Anyway, I'm at home. I'm taking this off a little bit, you guys. I wanted you guys to see what the hell we are doing here in Asia. Do not believe whatever the hell President Trump is trying to say to you. I couldn't even drink my coffee. Get in here, get in here, you guys. Get in here, get in here. Let's talk about this. I'm going to show you this propaganda video that they sent out from the United States, um, President Trump, that's all over the world. And of course, in America, you guys saw it as well, um, along with him doing the drive by and his freaking in the beast in the car um, outside the hospital, Walter Reed, and then going back into the hospital. First of all, you guys, I played the first commercial Lincoln Project to let you be reminded, even if you're here abroad, 8.7 million of us Americans who live outside of the United States, and we do vote. 3 million plus of us are registered to vote, by the way, of the 8.7 million, probably almost 10 million now. So keep this in mind, you guys. At the end of the day, don't believe what you guys see in this video. This is total propaganda. This is totally just what he wants you to see. He thinks he's like an Avenger or some crap like that, flying in in the helicopter and all that, landing. Let me tell you this. I have a butler. We have drivers. We have assistants. We have people who work to help our, our house maintained. We have delivery um, people for our groceries, for our valet, for our laundry. If I had COVID, I wouldn't be fucking around with any of them. I'm not going to do that because I know that I don't have the money to pay for your fucking test. I don't have the money to pay for your medica medication, for you to go to the hospital. At the end of the day, most folks, if you don't work, you don't get paid. So even if you're sick for and you're diagnosed and you got to be off work, which has happened to numerous of my team members and my staff that are working in Manila, 
you can't go to work for two weeks. That means typically you can't get paid. Luckily for us, a lot of our work is online so they can still kind of work, but who's getting your food? Who's getting your drinks? Who's doing your laundry? Who's doing that? And here, by the way, you guys, abroad, a fucking can of Lysol is almost $20, okay? Almost 20 bucks for a can of Lysol. So even if you need to get Lysol and you want to spray your whole house down, it's not cheap. You are not this fool. So don't listen to this. Anyway, you guys, chime in, share this. I'm going to show you this video in a second when a few of you guys get in here. In case you have not seen it, I'm going to show you the propaganda that they showed you from the States. And I do not want you to believe this. One, he's fucking sick, okay? The drugs he's taken are the best, most powerful drugs there is in the world the best doctors in the world. But after I showed this, one of my homies on his show, he showed me the behind the scenes of when they were shooting this video. And he is obviously having a hard time breathing, having a hard time standing, having a hard time walking, and that fake spray on tan, underneath you can see he is pale as hell. So I want you to know if this is you, my parents, my mom, my dad, my sisters, I hope you're watching. I'm actually doing this live for you because I want you to know, don't listen to this fool. I'm telling you, we have been on voluntary lockdown in Asia here. I'm in the Philippines Islands, you guys. First time here. Hello, I'm Kareem Jackson. You're live on the set, you guys. Minimalist CEO. Usually we talk about business because I help woke entrepreneurs to minimize their cluttered lifestyles, help them to outsource their business processes and to make more profits and more money while they live their dream life while doing it. But lately, business people, politics is all over the place because it affects us. If we own a business, we are the ones who are responsible for our staff. We're the ones who have to get their tests, their COVID. We have to buy the mask. We have to buy the shields. If they're off work, we either have to pay them, support them, or either we just lose work. We lose business because they're not here to do the work. So I don't want you to believe this. You guys are here, share this. I see you blossom. What's up girl, how you doing? Auntie Paula Jackson, this is for you. Do not believe this. I know all of my family are pre-existing conditions. They have diabetes. We have gout. There's cancer in my family, okay? Do not fuck around with what this guy put out. I'm telling you right now, we in Asia, we are close to it. We don't play around. I have this stuff. No one made me buy this. No one pushed me to buy it. I didn't protest to buy the shield and to buy the face mask. I didn't do that. I bought it on my own because although I don't have any pre-existing conditions, thank Jesus, I know it affects people. People here that I know have died, okay? And let me explain this to you, how they're fooling you in the States about this damn COVID-19. Okay, just like with HIV before, let me give you a parallel. HIV doesn't kill you. It's the complications are the side effects from the medication that kills you. COVID doesn't necessarily kill you, but if you have anything, it's going to make you have that there. So I want you guys to see this propaganda. I'll be right back. Check this fool out. He thinks he's like an Avenger or a superhero or some shit. Look at this idiot.
Okay, you guys, I'm not sure if that is showing you or not right now, but maybe it's a little delay in the video. But let me tell you this. He thinks he is a freaking superhero, and I'm so tired of it because I'm tired of them giving you the wrong news back home. I never dreamed this. I'm a Republican. I voted for, for Obama twice. I voted for Bush once the first time. I would never vote for this idiot. Never did I vote for him, even in the beginning. But being a Republican does not mean you're stupid, doesn't mean you're racist. It doesn't sure in the hell mean you don't wear a fucking mask. At the end of the day, I want to tell you this. He is pumped with so many drugs and everything. I got notes here because I'm going to tell you what the hell I was talking about. I want to be proper with it. At the end of the day, you guys, he's got steroids. He has a drug that's called dexamethasone or some crap like that. Dexamethasone. So understand that. He says he went to the COVID school and all that great stuff. He said all of that stuff to you guys. Understand this, you guys. All of those drugs, you can't afford them. Those doctors... You can't afford them. I want to know how is his wife doing? She got it. I want to know how is his press secretary doing? She got it. Because understand something, at the end of the day, these folks have more money than any of us. Anyone in the world, 90% of the people in the world don't have access to anything similar to what they have. And he still feels terrible. I'm going to show you the video in a second behind the scenes. I'm checking the Wi-Fi. Can you guys see me? Everything okay? Is it delayed? You, pick up. you guys, let me know how it sounds out there. Let me know how it is because I'm here in Asia and I want to tell you guys, don't believe it. A lot of you guys, I have friends here on Facebook. I have bashers here on Facebook. A lot of my Republican friends are friends that support him out here abroad of all these millions and millions of expats and Americans living abroad. And you guys are believing this crap. Maybe you have never had a person in close to you and your family, friends, staff that has gotten COVID. So you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You are just like this fool where, thank you very much, Juice. I, I see you. Thanks for letting me know. You guys may think like this fool that when it comes down to it, let me get rid of this. I'll play it again later for you, but I want to get back in the full screen here. You guys may think that when it comes down to it, that this right here does not affect you. Okay, let me explain to you like I was saying before. COVID, just like HIV or anything like that, is a fucking virus, okay? So if you do have a cold, if you do have cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, asthma, gout, anything, stress, if you don't have good food, if you have cheap ass food like we do in America, McDonald's, KFC, that's not real fucking food. If you're not eating vegetables, and I don't mean overcooked, soggy ass, I mean fresh, crisp vegetables to build your immune system. If you can't afford supplements like vitamin C, vitamin D, multivitamins, because they're expensive right now, out here, one freaking jar of vitamin C is over $30. So if you can't afford it, like many, many million, most people can't, you will have complications from the disease. So you look like you died of high blood pressure or you look like you died of, of suffixation, but the disease, COVID, that he's not telling you is just going to push anything you have 10 years ahead. And usually when someone goes into the hospital, they don't fucking get out. So you're not going to be able to roll around in your car like he did. You're not going to be able to have your staff, all of these people, because you're the one, if you're an owner of a business like me, you're paying for it, not the taxpayers. So if the driver, if the pilot, if the maid, if the assistant, whoever it is, who's ironing your suits, who's cleaning your bed linens, if those people, right, are getting sick or they need to have PPEs, you need to buy all that crap. If you're not in America and you're abroad, you know this in the hospital. You go to the hospital, you pay for the room, you pay for the doctor. The drugs are extra. The pillows extra. The blankets extra. If you got to get some medication or if you got to go get some a cash for your arm, you got to go out to the store. It's extra. If you want someone to wear a PPE because they're going to help you, you got to pay extra. So I understand that he's saying, Gura, I beat this, but you guys. Don't listen to it. I'm here live on the set, you guys, Kareem Jackson. I apologize for this rant, but I know my father, mama, Auntie Paula, um, cousin, um, all of you guys, I see you here. You're chimed in. I am talking to you because I can't call you. I don't know how to get a hold of you directly, but I know you watched this. So I came on. I'm only going to be here for about 10 more minutes, but I want you to see this. 
because don't listen to this video. Don't do it and don't believe the hype because in the day you will be fucked up. You will be sick because this affects everything. If you're a cancer survivor and you get this, it's going to push the cancer. People are saying in America, they count everything as COVID, but it's not really COVID. Bullshit. You have 210,000 people who died of COVID because COVID doesn't necessarily kill you, but whatever you have, it fast forwards it for 10 years. If you were supposed to die from 10 years from now or 20 years from now, if you're a smoker, smoking cigarettes, for example, the reason COVID kills you is because you already have lung damage. You already have throat damage. You already possibly have lung cancer in your system. So it knocks you out. The best thing you can do is not listen to this fool. And I want to show you this to you guys. Hopefully it can play. Um, this right here is what he did the other day. Showing you, trying to show you this. You guys can't do this. So although he believes that it's, it's sending a message of power and strength and the American, it shows how stupid American can be. It is not smart. The driver in this car probably has COVID already. Hopefully he has medical. The, whoever's around, everyone, this car, for example, that American president runs around in doesn't have an air conditioner like your, like your Cadillac or your Escalade or your freaking car. It has a system that if there, he can drive through a biohazard zone. So it's recirculated, fabulous, wonderful, cleaned air. So whoever's in the car, whether you have a shield on, a mask or whatever, you got to breathe the air. So you're putting all these people at risk so you can go and wave at your fans. At the end of the day, we knew you were okay. You can be in the freaking hospital room. Show people what it's really like. And don't give them false hope that you're 74 or whatever age you said you were. And you have all these conditions, but you're okay. Because it's not true. You are okay because you just spent 500000 US dollars for two days or three days in the hospital that no one in the world but you has access to. The average person, let me remind you again. Let me show you this. I'll come right back, but let me see you show you what he did the other day that none of us could freaking do. And it's just shocking that uh, he even did this because though you think it's great and cool, it, it, it shows, uh, it's ridiculous. But check ago, this out. Uh, thanking medical staff and thanking the great patriots, as he put it, uh, who are gathered outside the hospital here with their flags, saying he was going to pay them a surprise. And sure enough, moments later, a big motorcade started driving up the road behind me. And it was Donald Trump uh, surrounded by security and police. I think He's I have a delay on the video, you guys. Here. I'm not he sure why. I'm sure because it's my title and what I'm talking about. Facebook, YouTube, they, you guys, they all fucking probably are making me go slow and, and delay because they're probably uh, monitoring it because of what I'm talking about. But you guys, what you're seeing is he's in the car. He's rolling around. This is outside of the hospital. So for him to go do this stunt for the fans that were outside. Now, mind you, the reason there were only fans outside because the police made sure that Black Lives Matter, protesters, anyone who hates him or don't like his situation, they weren't allowed to go into the entire city, okay, for him to go to the hospital. So this is some fake propaganda crap showing all his likers and all that. But remember, I get it. I understand why you're rolling around, but most people can't do that. So it's showing you something that's not real. That's nothing to do with you. You can't do it. You can't, you can't even, I, I, you can't even go outside. You will be sick and you will die in your house. Okay. Understand that you will die alone in your house. I have a partner of mine, grandmother too passed away. We don't know exactly why, but they passed away during quarantine. I couldn't even go to the funeral. Couldn't even travel to go to the funeral. So understand something. This is real for you. Don't look at this stuff and think that you got COVID. You should be rolling around town and doing things because that is not true. This is not real. The delay is on. Can you guys see the video? Is it is it playing or is it stopping? It shows on here that it's stopping. Shows Facebook and YouTube are slowing me down, y'all. But hopefully you guys can see it. If you didn't see it, um, I'll put a link to these videos, you guys, in this, this caption when I get done. But mainly, it's him rolling down the street in the presidential barricade. Mind you, 
Streets have to be blocked. He's in the car. He is definitely COVID positive. So it's crazy. Very crazy. Anyway, you guys, um, I'm not sure if this is going to show. So let me see if I keep it rolling in the in the side caption in case it does play. So you guys, if you guys are looking at this over there, okay, watch that. Somehow they're stopping my video from playing, you guys. If I look good, sound good, then it's not me. It's YouTube and Facebook slowing it down. Understand this. If you guys are in Asia right now and you're watching this and you're Filipinos, you're my friends. I love everyone here. Please, even though we're American, you think that we know everything. Don't believe this crap. Wear the mask. Wear the face shield. Stay the hell at home. It's better for you to be healthy and than it is for you to be wealthy. OK, one thing I like about the culture here, a lot of folks ask me why I live abroad, why I stay abroad. The reason is because here you matter. Everybody really matters. Everybody. At the end of the day, it's not about money all the damn time. What he's doing right here is showcasing strength for the stock market. And I don't know who the hell you are that's watching this. I'm sure you don't have stocks. If you do, you ain't got that many. You work a damn job. That's your money. You need to be healthy. You need to be active. You need to be able to work. And if you get someone in your family sick, which is totally possible, they may not be able to recover. And let me tell you this too. I did a video a while back on the five or 10 things that they're not telling you in America about COVID. I'll put the link below this later. And one thing that you need to forget about, if they do pass away, you got health insurance? I'm sorry, probably health insurance, but you have death insurance. Who's paying for your funeral? Who's buying the casket? You need to think about all this stuff because this fool is showing you something that you can't, that doesn't affect you. You need to understand and keep that in mind. I just wanted to get on here and tell you about that. But let me, okay, before you guys go, if you guys are there, let me show you after this. Let me turn this off. It's not going to play because you guys can watch this somewhere else. If that's not playing, they're definitely going to cut off this crap. <laughs> but let me tell you this, you guys. I'm going to show you right here. Um, it's a really bad recording. They sent this to me from the U.S. And mind you, when he shot the video that I showed you in the beginning, the propaganda, you know, he's like, you know, one of the Avengers landing video. Now, mind you, the pilot, everyone in that situation is, is possibly contaminated with COVID. They can't go home. Do you understand what this means behind the scenes? So someone in the White House who knows one of my brothers, um, let me give him a plug before I play his video, before he don't get mad at me, you guys. Um, let me go here. Wait, I'm just going to give him a plug. Um, thank you, Auntie. My Auntie Jackson says, we don't, uh, we don't. Family has been on my family prayer text discussing since the clown Trump started his new hoax pro promo campaign. We know, we all know. Thank you, Auntie, um, Auntie Paula. Everyone is voting for Biden, Harris. Most of the family has voted um, or early voting starts October 17th in Nevada. So if you're in Nevada, October 17th is when you guys start your, your, your voting. Let me go back here and give the plug here. Um, do, 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 where is it? Yeah, okay. Um, let me give you this. This could be the gets plug here, you guys, um, for my boy here. I don't want to sit up and, and not give you this video. I'll put a link to the actual video, the show where he showed the video. Mine is going to be a really bad recording because it's from the States and it's here. And then we didn't have time to, to make it a fabulous download. So I just held my phone. I recorded what he sent to me um, or what I got from his show. Um, but I want to give a plug to that. Um, my boy, Benjamin Dixon. You guys, you can find Benjamin Dixon um, on YouTube. You can subscribe to his show. Um, Benjamin Dixon um, says you up. Donald Trump is back in the White House and he looks bad. And he goes on for um, quite a while actually talking about this. But you guys, um, the, the Benjamin Dixon show, right? Yeah, the Benjamin Dixon show. Um, Benjamin Dixon, a brother back home. Thank you for saying this to us, Benjamin, because I want people to see this so they understand. Don't believe this. This is Trump. Let me show you what he really looks like.
off to the side before the recording. See that? Can't even close his jacket. He put his mask in his pocket. Let me play that again. That's Benjamin Dixon right there. Look at that, you guys. This is after the world-class medication, world-class doctors, helicopter rides. That's how it is. Do you see that? My point is this, you guys. If you guys are there back home, if you are family and friends, you guys understand this about this disease. The reason why here in this country that Trump called the shithole country, a brown country, this country, less than 5,000 deaths, as poor as whatever you want to say this country is. For me, it's paradise. I live in the tropics. I have mangoes outside. I don't even need to buy vitamin C. I can go right outside and get a freaking pineapple from the ground. I can get a mango. We have avocados. I have very great, great food. I can boost my immune system and all of that great stuff. Um, if you guys are looking to travel and get out of the States for a while, you can look at KareemAntonio.com and I can help you make that happen. But the point of it is less than 5,000 deaths in the whole country. This is a working class country. No one could stay home. Everyone had to work. There is no government handouts. There was no stimulus checks. Was there protests? No. Was there riots? No. Is there racism? Hell no. But why are they doing better then? And mind you, this 5,000 less deaths in the, in, in, is the highest, I think, in Asia right now. The highest in the whole hemisphere. But how is that? That you have 210,000 deaths in the United States because you see crap like this and you don't take it seriously. You go out and party. You go to these, you go to, you have, uh, you have COVID parties, which is okay. You know what? I'm American. I get it. We're strong. We're proud. We can deal with this. But at the end of the day, like he finally said, let me get him off my damn screen. Like he finally said, now he went to the COVID university. Let me read it here. Now I went to the COVID university. Now I yeah went to I went yeah I'm sorry now I went to COVID school, <laughs> that's what he said. Now you understand, two hundred and ten people have died in America. What the hell do you need to understand? I don't have COVID. I get it. I see it. Folks that don't have the money that Americans have, that he has, the resources. The reason you saw snuck out videos in Asia and China in the beginning of guards falling down, collapsing dead at their job is because no one knew what the hell it was and they couldn't freaking stay home. They had to go to work. So they thought, oh, okay, I got a cold or I got a, a, a clogged throat. They didn't realize, no, your throat is freaking going to suffocate you. So they've passed out. That would be you. And it may not affect most people, but understand this, you guys, 210,000 people dead. That's I'm, I'm, I'm former U.S. Air Force. I would have I would have been the one in that freaking helicopter with him. Maybe my sister, Kalia, shout out to you. I love you. She's being transferred. Congratulations to your senior master sergeant new position. She's being transferred to the U.S. Pentagon. Don't you, I, I, how would, I would be so livid if she had to deal with this idiot. And I know she's got three new beautiful kids at home, maybe four. <laughs> she's got kids at home. My mom will visit her. They have another, her husband, who's also in the, in the, in the military, in the Air Force. They're the ones who fly people. They're the ones who are the secretaries, the assistants, the admins, and all these different civilian terms that take care of these idiots who do this. They have to do it. It's their job. I would be livid if I knew that she was being put at risk by her boss. I would be livid. Her kids. What if a kid has asthma? What are you going to do? And at the end of the day, 
who has the money that he has to do this? So anyway, you guys, I just wanted to give that out. It's kind of a rant a little bit because I want you guys to really understand that. And I'm going to show you this fool again because I want you to see the truth. The truth. Thank you very much, brother. The truth. That's after a million dollars, maybe, in medication, doctors. I'm sure they blew a million dollars in three days. So you can watch his expression. Watch how much in pain he really is. So imagine you. Imagine. How would you deal with it? How would you deal with it? So anyway, you guys, the truth of it is, I'm Krim Jackson live on the set, you guys. I'm glad that you're here. I just wanted to get this out there. And the reason that I said this is because I'm an entrepreneur. We have businesses. We have staff. I have to make sure that my staff is okay. I can't just do random things. If there needs to be a test, who pays for it? If they need passes to go somewhere, who has to get that? We who own businesses, forget this guy. We need to be the ones that are vigilant, that look out for our people in our lives and our staff. And understand, if you own, a, if you have a car out there, I know a lot of my friends, y'all rich, we balling out here in Asia and in, the, in these countries, because here, $1 equals 50 to $100 out here. So understand, I get it. You got drivers, you got butlers, you got nannies, all this stuff. But that doesn't mean that you need to put them at risk so you can show off. If you know you have it, stay at home. Don't leave. If you're so rich, bring the cameras into your home. Bring the, You guys understand this. Please understand this. He is showing you what white privilege has. And unless you are the president of the United States or at least a white male with wealth and privilege, don't look at this and listen to what he said. I'm not even going to play what he said because here in Asia, it's white American propaganda and we cannot show it on air. They will block me immediately. I can't play it on my radio shows, my TV shows, my personal shows, nowhere. I can't publish it. But what he said, was like, it's okay, we're strong, we're gonna beat this, I'm 70 plus, I have this, I'm a little overweight, I'm okay, you can do it, go back out there, let's make America great. That's what he said, don't believe that shit. And if these third world countries are doing better than you, financially, emotionally, no one's committing suicide, no one's in depression, no one needs a handout. We're working every day to build this back up. Ask yourself why, because you're believing these people and they don't care about you as a regular working class person. So understand this, you guys, that is the true video. That's the true one. I don't know what he, I'm gonna put out here again to you guys, what he wanted you guys to see. You guys are just tuning back on. He wants you guys to see this, but it ain't true. Okay, well, they're not wanting me to see. They're, they're blocking my stuff, y'all. They're blocking it. <laughs> they are blocking me out. But um, you guys understand this. Is it when it comes down to it, it doesn't pertain to you. This disease specifically, we don't know what's going to happen to him in two weeks. Remember, it ain't been two weeks, y'all. <laughs> He's only been three days. And I, it's true. His doctors, it's right. If you are a person with means, nothing to do with your fucking health, with means, you can go home because they need the beds, right? So if, or if you have it and you're diagnosed and you and, and here abroad, if you know that you're positive and you, and you don't you're not dying. You don't even go to the hospital at all. Remember now, he went to the hospital in the first place. He has obvious respiratory problems. You stay home. It's true, but it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that your family, remember who's gonna test your, your, your wife, your husband, your kids, your coworkers, the guy at the grocery store, your driver, your taxi driver, who's testing all these people that you've come into contact with? And remember, it goes on surfaces, on your phone, on your microphone. 
everything. It's around. It's on your clothes. So who's testing these people? Them, they're the American White House. They can do all of this. So don't believe the message, you guys. Um, please don't believe the message. Don't, don't listen to it at all. And I'm going to tell you this again because it's worth repeating, you guys. Let's see if it'll play again. They're, they're letting me go here a little bit. Let's see. He'll receive another dose of remdesivir here today. Yeah, they're blocking that It's one, been more than 72 hours <laughs> since his last fever. It's a video of him Oxygen um, levels, walking including from the... From the um, from the the helicopter to the White House before he does that whole or while he was recording that whole entire you know Avengers crap. Okay, um, okay. Let's see if they're gonna let us go. Let's see if they're gonna. Let's see. I think it's letting us play. This is what they want you to see. I think we're blocked there a little bit. They're, they're, they're delaying me, you guys. Um, anyway, let's get rid of this. You guys, just understand something out there. I want to get up here. I know that you guys, Facebook, YouTube, love you. I'm glad you guys are here. If you guys are watching this, so I'm I'm glad that you guys are here. Um, you guys, take care of yourself. Jackson's family, my sisters, my mom, my dad, you know, um, aunties, uncles that are all watching. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys sharing this. I'm glad that you guys did that. I did this. I'm going to send this to you because I want to put it up here live because I know that right now you guys are getting ready to go to bed, but I want you guys to see this and understand. Don't believe that. He is on the number one medication that's not even available anywhere else in the world, but to him. He has doctors the best in the world. Remember, I don't know where the last 10 doctors, but the, you know, remember the black girl that said about, talked about alien sperm? I don't know what happened to those doctors. These new doctors, okay, great, wonderful. But then the day, the messages they're sending are for him, not for you. If you like Trump, nothing against you. Don't believe what he's saying to you. You need to take precautions and understand this is not the truth. So one more time, you guys, I'm going to show you this because I want you to be reminded about this. This is how it is. I apologize for the volume. I didn't know it was that loud, but I'm going to run it again. That's what COVID looks like behind the scenes after a million dollars in medication and physicians and helicopter rides and, and ambulance or, or chauffeur driven to the hospital services. Imagine you with your broke ass with this COVID. Okay. Imagine. So, you guys, Cream Jackson live on the set. It's not a long show. Thank you guys for being here. If you guys have any questions, if you guys have any insights, ask at CreamAntonio.com is how you get a hold of me. Um, CreamAntonio.com um, is my website. You guys see all the great stuff we have. We got great videos there. Usually we're talking about entrepreneurship, but I figured my family are all in business. So my point about this is that entrepreneurship, minimalist CEO is what they call me. Minimalism is my life. I just do not need all the crap. I love a simple life, but most of my family, my friends, my followers, all of you guys have a business and understand I'm doing this as a public service announcement, a PSA for you to understand, eat your vitamins, eat veggies, eat real food, good food, um, fruits, you guys, because that is really how you combat this because you need to have a high immune system. This guy is on steroids. He is on dexamethasone or whatever the hell that's called. I researched all of these things he's on and they're one, things that you don't get given if you're not fucked up. That's one. They'll just randomly give you this stuff. They pumped him up specifically to walk across that lawn and to do the video thing that he did and to go back. And understand, yes, America, we are powerful, we're strong, I love my country, but right now our leadership is not what you guys should be following. People are dying, and you in America know it more than anywhere in the world, but I don't want anyone who's following me that are in the Philippines or in Asia to see this stunt and to think that your staff, your employees, your family, or you are okay, you're not. Just because America says it's okay and they got this and that and the other, don't believe it. If you guys know for a fact, for example, we've had a cure, for example, from China for the last three or four months. I ain't taking it. 
I don't know who's taking it, but I know it's available. It's even available online. So go figure, okay? We have also been in voluntary quarantine since December of 2019. I say it every time I get on, the, on this camera because I want to remind you, don't believe what they're saying. The only thing you should learn from this damn video that this guy did is that this man said it was a hoax when we were on air, live on FM, 93.3 FM, talking about wear a mask, be careful out there. We don't know what's going on. He was saying it was a democratic hoax. He had my show halted at points. They blocked what I was saying live on air. They would knock on the door and tell me not to say certain things because they believed America over China at the time. I didn't because we saw the behind the scenes as media. We saw the behind the scenes cameras. We saw the footage from China, people passing out. And the bullshit too. China did not lie to people. They didn't know. They had no idea what was going on. They didn't lie. What happened was he was so busy saying it was a hoax and it was a lie and don't wear a mask and politicizing the whole thing that they gave up trying to beat it into him. That's what happened, including myself. I had, until this happened, I had friends of mine on my social media feeds bashing me, sending me messages saying it's fake. And these are folks that I know have businesses, they have employees, they have family and children. They thought it was fake. When I first did the first article, maybe somewhere I'll put a link also to this one, we talked about the first American death in Asia that we knew about, which was an old guy who supported Trump and believed it was a hoax. He died in the very beginning, he died. An older guy like Trump, I believe he's an ex-military guy. He didn't believe it, he died. He went to the hospital, he never left again. His family at home in America, they never saw him again. His body wasn't sent to them. No one, you know who was with him at the end? His driver, his neighbor, his maid, that's who was with him. They probably didn't even know he was sick back home in America until he was dead. And he also infected two dozen people all around him, locals. In the Philippines, you guys, this happened in Marikina. You can Google it, or you can look at my YouTube channel and my articles, you can find it. So know this is real. Anyway, you guys, thank you. If you guys have any questions or whatever, you can put here in the comments. You guys understand this. I'm gonna play this one more time if they let me, you guys. I don't think they're gonna let me. This is the truth. Yeah, they're blocking it whenever I play it. <laughs> That is the truth of a million dollar treatment I apologize for the volume after COVID. Loud, but I'm run it again. If you don't have any money and you don't have any health insurance, how would you be able to work, take care of your family and everything? And even if you don't believe this, this is a person who made campaigns saying it was a hoax. It wasn't real. Now it hit you. And BS aside, I'm glad you got it. Because now all of you guys who believe this fool can wake the hell up. Okay? You can wake up. You can see that it is real. You can see it. So again, you guys, Kareem Jackson, you were live on the set. I'm so glad that you guys are here. Um, a little thoughtless plugs, you guys. Uh, if you guys are out there, you guys can chime in live with me. I'm not going to answer any questions. I do see you guys, though. I'm glad that you guys are all here. Um, you guys are all live on the set, you guys, with me. Um, thank you for being here. Thanks for watching the shows. If you guys look and you guys wonder how I can live abroad, how I can run my business from abroad, you guys go to Cremantanio.com. You can learn more about it. My new ebook, by the way, is out. I've got actually three of them out right now. Um, Outsource Everything is out. My new ebook is out. Um, and it's the law. My... my um, <laughs> My data privacy book is out. If you guys wonder, when I first started this whole endeavor 10 years ago, um, my guys, thank you very much for the Chongqing Group. You guys can go on Google Play and the Philippines Magazine International inaugural issue way back in the day. The first one is actually on Google Play and the App Store right now. You guys can see that first edition. It's really short. It's small. 
but it's got 500 Filipino business owners in LA and the Philippines in it. We showcased the Filipino version of the Adam and Eve um, holding the apple. It's a really great edition. That is also out. Um, you guys check that out, by the way, as well. We have tons of programs if you guys want to know more about that. So you guys, if you guys are also out here in the Philippines, by the way, I want to tell you this. Um, you guys, they have a big, crazy promo at Rapidy in Malolos, um, Bulacan, Philippines, you guys, where you can get your car disinfected. Of course, oil changes and all that crap, too. But you guys, if you guys are rolling around with COVID or scared that someone is, a couple hundred bucks, you guys can get your car disinfected. If you get an oil change, they got a program, I think, now that is for free. So you guys... I'm going to play this little commercial. We wouldn't be here without sponsors. I'm rapidly Malolos, you guys. Then I'm going to come back and say goodbye. If you have any questions, you can send those to me, and then I'm going to send this. But this is really true. You guys don't believe this guy. If you guys have family in America, especially if you're black American, don't believe him, y'all. We're dying of this crap. And you see all these third world countries, these shithole countries he's talking about, and nobody is fucked up as America. I can't even go back if I wanted to. I mean, I guess I could, but I would be stuck. And my mother and my father, I'm trying to get my mother here for Thanksgiving. It may not even open up to Americans by that time because of this fool. Between racism in America right now and the COVID crap that you guys are putting out propaganda, you guys meaning Trump administration, no country wants Americans flying in right now. He talks about, by the way, before I let you go, he talks about China. And how they blocked China early. And if he hadn't done that, the only reason that even matters is because you wouldn't wear a freaking mask. We blocked China in the Philippines, over here in Asia. But we only have 5,000, less than 5,000 cases to this day, period. And we're the highest. Most businesses and things like that are here. So we probably, I'm sure we have more Chinese expats were here. Boracay Island, Cebu, all the resorts, they were here. Makati, the green, but we have 5,000, less than 5,000 cases. So blocking China wasn't a big deal because at the end of the day, protect yourself. No matter who the hell it is, blocking China was the least you could do. And mind you, they blocked China here, but they but they only have 5,000 less cases. So that has nothing to do with the cases you have. Because remember this, you guys, you're blaming Chinese people, but people who flew home, remember he said it was a hoax and made America was so great and we're so wonderful. But I think it was three jumbo jet 747s of expats flew home. They flooded the airports. China didn't do that. He did that. You infected your own. I didn't run home. I was like, no, I'm not going to go home. I need to wait this out. Why would I go there? Because I knew you couldn't work. That's why you need these handouts. And anyway, anyway, it's not China's fault, you guys. They were affected by this the same as us. No different than the bird flu, which is an American situation. No different than anything, HIV, any of these things. You can't blame who got it first. They didn't create it in a lab. That's BS. Well, maybe they did, but they didn't, they didn't do it on purpose, right? That isn't how it happened. And then the day they told us what to do. I told you, look back to December 2019. We already knew a year ago almost. So anyway, you guys, um, if you guys are in Manila, you guys are out here. You guys, go get your oil change done. Go get your car sanitized. And this is where to go. These guys are amazing. They are wonderful, and I love them. Um, I like them. What's up, you guys? Cream Jackson live on the set for Bulacan Lifestyle Magazine, and we are live here, you guys. Bulacan, the quarantine is like semi-lifted, right? So you in your car, you cruising, and you need you an oil change. You've got to get your car right, you guys. We have one of the 500 best of Bulacan, best favorite things. Rapidly, you guys. MacArthur Highway, they have such great service, you guys. They're one of our 500 favorite of Bulacan, 100 best of Bulacan. They're one of our favorite places to go. And check it out, you guys. We were here it is so nice so fresh so clean rapidly express you guys they're located on macarthur highway you guys get your car oil change done and guess what you guys it's only 899 pesos what? so no worry less than 1000 pesos look 
at these reviews, you guys. Don't believe us. Maui said it. Ned said it. Ken said it. Daniel said it. Carr said it. Carol said it. Ponce said it. Everyone says that this place is so awesome. 0945-369-0888. You guys, 899 pesos. Rapidly, you guys. Go check them out. But hey, hey, hey. COVID-19. We got you covered, you guys. You're in that car. How do you know it's clean? How do you know it's disinfected? How do you know that your kids are safe? Your employees are safe? Roll down to this place for 249 pesos, you guys. Rapidly will disinfect your car. 0945-369-0888, you guys. What you waiting for? Hey, local small business owners, entrepreneurs, and celebrities. Hey, you guys. I've got a secret to tell you. Go get that promo. Check this out. Canco has a new website promo for $350. That's just 15,000 pesos. And your small business can have a fantastic website. You know how the guys are beating you out there, how they're getting customers, how they're online. Despite anything, they can keep going. They can still reach customers. People can still buy, see their stuff. Here, you guys, I've got the secret. They can still do it because they're reaching their clients online with their fantastic website. The promo, you guys, is just 15 thousand pesos three hundred and fifty dollars you can showcase your products and reach the world go get that go get that promo All right, you guys. Good, good, good. I see that you guys, they're telling me that you guys are seeing the videos out there. I'm just not seeing it in my control panel. Fantastic, you guys. If you guys are just here chiming in, I know it was a little choppy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play this again, you guys, so you guys can see what America put out for the world to see and what to fool you guys. Then I'm going to go ahead and play this video again where he's really, really sick again so that you guys can see it um, because I want you guys to understand. Don't believe this situation it is crazy crazy reckless it's not true and i hate that they even do this right now in the states i just can't believe it i i really am shocked that they do this um and it's really disgust me because i know that a lot of folks look to america for quality products for quality services for integrity for the democracy and the voting situation. And right now we've just lost our rank everywhere in the world. A lot of folks here abroad, so I know my family back home were asking me, is there a cure? Is he fine? What happened? Is he really sick? Is he not sick? The truth of it is, yeah, I think he got it along with the whole freaking White House. They didn't wear masks. So what you need to learn from this is that yes, you can get it. If this fool got it, you can get it. He's protected by the everybody. He he pretty much doesn't have to do anything himself, but he got it. And we don't know if it was Hope Hicks for sure, but we know that she's the one that they're saying gave it to them. So here you guys, in case you guys missed it, this is the propaganda they're putting out.
I'm here, you guys. I'm going to put this on screen here, too. This is the truth. I apologize for the volume, I didn't know it was that loud, but I'm going to run it again so you can watch his expressions. Watch how much in pain he really is. Propaganda. All right. True. If that was you and you guys had this crazy, crazy virus, you don't have a million dollars to spend in three days in the hospital, the world-class doctors, you don't have any of that stuff. So this right here could devastate you and your family financially, everything. Not to mention if you have any other existing co complications, it could definitely kill you. Respirators are not cheap. In this country, I can't even imagine what they would cost. I can't even imagine. And I do know that I've seen people in hospitals where I've been um, for other reasons, and I see that people that can't afford respirators, someone from the family has to sit there next to the bed and pump by hand because they can't afford a respirator. They can't afford the oxygen. So they're pumping, taking shifts by hand, and that's during regular times. Right now, you're just screwed. So you guys, all I can tell you is do not believe this fool. Do not believe what he's saying is going on. It is not true. It is not the way that it is. And if you get this disease, it may kill you. Stay vigilant and ask yourself this, you guys. If it's so great, if it's so wonderful, why are 210,000 people dead? In poorer nations, the top is about 5,000 right now. Just ask yourself, why is that? And then go out there, you guys, take care of yourself. If you do have COVID or if you do have employees of a business, do not believe this man. I know many of my viewers, you guys are Trump supporters because I do a lot of business talks, a lot of business um, seminars. And I, and I understand that a lot of people in business like myself were Republicans especially if we're abroad. But I'm not a Republican who is a fool. I don't support this idiot. I've never voted for him. I voted for Obama twice. I'm getting ready to, we already actually, we voted absentee ballot already for Biden. Sorry to say you guys, um, I did it because I love Harris, to be honest. I would have voted for her to be president if she had you know, done better in the, in the, in the run-ups and all that great stuff. So understand you guys, if you own a business, do not listen to this fool. Understand you need to protect your employees, protect your family, because if you get this, you don't have the resources that he is boasting about. Even if you're a regular person in middle America, you may not even have the, you don't have any of the resources, not to mention, even if you're sick with the cold or the flu and you can't go to work, you probably don't get paid. Understand that. And you guys just saw how he just said no to the next stimulus check, right? So what you going to do? From what I understand, he said no until he gets reelected. So he's held you guys hostage. He's playing blackmail with your health and your money now. But I'm telling you this too. No third world country has gotten any stimulus check, including myself. So why do you need it so much? Why is it that your lifestyle is so high? that you can't even last two or three months without working? That is the question you should be asking yourself. Anyway, you guys, thank you guys very much. I'm glad that you guys are here. Um, you guys, please go to crewmantonio.com and check out my, my new ebook. Um, it is wonderful. Um, it's outsourced everything. Tells you how I did it, how I'm able to live in Asia. Thank goodness, you guys. I'm blessed because here, money goes a lot further. People here really, really care about each other more than money. So no one is going to tell me or I'm not going to tell anyone else, oh, just go to work, deal with it because we need the money. No. Here, they'd rather lose their house, their car, everything than lose their grandmother. 
lose their grandfather. They'd rather not go to work and stay in wherever their province is than go to Manila and get sick and then die alone. We're not, a, it's not a capitalistic society. It is a loving, very nurturing society. And I like that more. I am. I have seen the dark side of capitalism. I've seen the dark side of the Republican party right now, and I'm disgusted by it. Do not understand and put this propaganda ahead of whatever you think. This is all for the stock market. And most people in the world, especially in America, have nothing, no stock in the stock market. So you are the economy, not the stock market. If you can't work, if you can't spend money, if you can't pay taxes, if you can't log online and watch this show right now for me, then there is no economy. Understand that. They invest in stocks of companies that you use. Google, Facebook, Zoom, all these companies, all these corporations, you know, Microsoft, any company on the stock market, the stock exchange, any of the stock exchanges, even the trade exchange. If you don't do and aren't living and don't spend money and don't go outside, they know the stock market collapses. So they will tell you anything to get you out to, to, to risk your life to take care of them. So they have money. Understand that. They're not going to tell you the truth because at the end of the day, they are the beneficiaries of you taking the risk. So they're not going to show you the truth. That's why I wanted to show you the video of him behind the scenes gasping for air after a million dollars probably in physicians help maybe even more than that i mean one doctor for three four days around the clock could easily be a quarter million so understand that keep that in mind you guys just please 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 don't believe this propaganda if you are not in america and you are here in the philippines or you're in asia you're abroad I'm telling you, don't believe what's coming out of my country right now. It is not for you. It is for rich white men, even women. If you get sick, who's taking care of your kids? I don't care if you're white, black, green, yellow, brown, whatever. If you get sick, who's going to take care of your parents? These white dudes can risk it, but not you. My sister, as I said, you're in the Air Force. You're going to the Pentagon. I'm proud of you. I love you. Don't listen to this fool. Your husband, don't listen to this fool. Anyway, you guys, thank you. Love you very much. I'm glad that you guys are here. If you have a chance, please go to my website, crewmentario.com. Check out my new ebook. I'm glad that you guys are here. Share this, like this. And you guys, go to my homie I told you guys about. Uh, let me bring it back up here again. Go to my homie. I'll put the link below also. Um, go to him and, watch, and check out his channel. You can see the full video there, better quality than mine. We just rushed this and got this here because we saw a lot of folks um, um, actually asking us about this. And you can go to the Benjamin Dixon show. Um, you guys can see his the, his video where he shows all of this. The Benjamin Dixon show again. I'll say it again. Check that out. But understand, all that you're seeing is with a million dollars of medical in 72 hours spent. So if you ain't got a million dollars and you can't miss your job, you can't miss your work, if no one's going to shop for your groceries, if no one's going to wash your ass for you, if no one's going to wash your clothes for you, you can't afford to listen to this man. Thank you. Kareem Jackson live on the set. I am out. I love you all so much. Um, again, success is for everyone, you guys. And check out my new ebook, you guys. Please check it out. It will help you guys understand how I got free. And how hey, you guys, Cream Jackson, you are live on the set. I've got some news to tell you. Ten years ago, I left California, USA on the beach, and I got on a plane. I went to the tropics, and I reinvented myself. I wanted to turn my dreams into reality. I had a great time, great friend. I published magazines, books. I meditated. I sipped coconuts, you guys. I had tattoo competition, weekly shows, and I want you guys to know I sat down, and I wanted to write step-by-step step how I did it. How did I get free? How did I outsource everything? 
thinking, how did I get to where I could run my company from my laptop? And now I finished it. It is done. My new book, you guys, Outsource Everything is out now. I finished it. I'm telling you all about how I gained my freedom, how I live in the tropics next to the beach and a beautiful lifestyle that I still run my business. I outsource everything. My new ebook, it's out now, you guys. It's available right now, you guys. I made it to where freedom is here for you. You can get the same freedom that I did. It's totally possible and it's totally doable. And this has never been a better time than to do it. Grab my new ebook, Outsource Everything, on Google Play and the App Store, you guys. And of course, creamantonio.com forward slash my ebook. Outsource everything. Outsource everything. How to be a minimalist CEO by Kareem Jackson. An introduction for small business owners and entrepreneurs. Presented by Kane Co America and the Chunks and Group. To break free. Oh my God, you guys are still here. Hey, okay, you guys, I'm so glad you're still here. I'm so glad you stuck around to the end because I want to show you some more about my book. I'm so excited about this. Outsource everything out now, you guys. It's out now. Go grab it. On my website, you guys, cremantonio.com. You can go to the App Store, any of these places, and go grab it. I want you to sit down, ponder this, and think about why do I have the stress I have? Why am I working so hard? Why am I a slave to my business? Why do I not have more freedom? There's folks all over the world looking that can outsource to you. I'm going to introduce you to this, tell you why you don't need that new car, you don't need that bling bling, you don't need that house right now. Outsource everything. Get free. What good is that money? What good is all that fame and fortune if you are working every day like it's a job? Freedom is here. It's here for you, you guys. Grab my ebook, you guys. Out Outsource everything, Google Play, the App Store, and of course, crewmantonio.com forward slash my ebook. Go grab it, you guys.